Oh, she does not like me. <laughs> So it's finally time to play some Warhammer 40k Rope Trader. Um, I, I I know what I'm getting myself into. I know that I have Baldur's Gate to finish. And now I've picked up another game that's just this huge and big. But uh, I recently um, picked up painting minis. And honestly, I wasn't too sure if I would pick up this game. But I got talked into it. Um... I love like the grim dark kind of universe so um, I have a little bit of lore knowledge not loads but I have enough um, yeah so I'm just gonna dive right in we're gonna play out normal and I don't hate myself I don't want to play out harder um, so this basically the story is you take up the mantle of a rogue trader a scion of the ancient dynasty of daring privateers that reign over their trade protectorate and explore the fringes of the known galaxy. I'm going to get words wrong. I'm going to say things wrong. I apologize. You can laugh at me. You can find it funny. <laughs> and if you do like all that, then don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button because that would be awesome. Uh, so yeah, let's jump in. We're going to make our character up. All right, we're going to make our character up. Oh, continue. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do it normal, because, you know, I don't hate myself. <laughs> um, I kind of want to make my own character. Yeah, I kind of want to be, like, my own. Ooh. See, she looks cool. I'm not going to lie, she does look cool. Uh, I definitely want to be a she. Ooh. Because that's just, you know, I don't, I definitely want a, you know, a female, mind you though, he looks pretty cool. They look like they're twins. Um, ooh, I like that. I do like that. <laughs> that's the battle sister right there. Oh, she's cute. She's very cute. I definitely want to go with a vibe of, you know, I can't, do you know what? I don't particularly like the hair. I like the get up, but I don't know if I like the hair. <laughs> um, I mean, that's currently what my hair is now, so we could just do that. Well, we'll just do currently what my hair is now. I do want it like a different color. Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, can we zoom in? Get some brows on the go. Will we make her bushy? Well, no, my brows. Will we make her cross looking? Urgh. Although they're very, her brows are on. Was it fleek? Is it? Well, we'll do that. It's fine. Um, matching cut her eyebrows. Uh, tattoos. Oh, I do like myself some tattoos. Oh, scars. Oh, maybe we'll have some scars. Wait, we'll do tattoos first, because, you know. Um. No. 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 Ooh, arm tattoos. Oh, I like that. Do I like that? Or am I just saying I like that? I don't know. I definitely want her to have tattoos. Is there like back tattoos? Because I would love a back tattoo. Hold on. Oh, there is a back tattoo. Oh, she's definitely having a back tattoo. And in what colour? Oh, of course. No, I don't know. I'm, I'm a ha uh, I do kind of like, like the blue. Okay. Um. What about chains? Ooh, I like the chains. 
I got I think I like the looser looking chains. I I wish you could like have multiple. Like going all the way up. Well, maybe you can. Oh, you can have them crisscrossing. That looks a bit weird. I mean, she's a noble, so maybe she... You know, that's, that's what I'm going with, by the way. That she's going to be a noble. I don't care. I don't want to, like, fire up. But... I mean, can you move them? Because that would be awesome. Definitely want scars. We're, we're having scars. Like we we're gonna we're gonna be like I don't know. Some someone's gonna someone someone's hurt us. Can't dig that. I dig that. Augmentations. Ooh, maybe the augmentations will make us. Ooh, I like that. I mean, <laughs> could be here. Well, oh, I don't know if I'd like that. Yeah, up your nose. It. There was one that I did kind of like. Mm. Kind of dig that one. I dig that one. Augmentation 2. Function could be like fully get it out. You can't have double. It's just greedy. No, I, I dig that. I dig that. Boy. I'll see you destroyed. Okay, I don't know what she sounds like. Does she sound like bold My female? tactics are flawless. I don't know. Let the macro cannons sing their deadly listeny. This could be an opportunity. Ooh, I like that one. Your existence is naught but ashes. Applaud my brilliance. Oh, hold on. <laughs> A new note in discordant melody. I am the chosen weapon that will crush the heathens. Challenges make the spoil. Oh, we'll go Time to read the spoil. Okay, we'll do that one. Um, okay, so. Uh, death worlds. On death worlds, plants, beasts, and sometimes even the environment itself take aggressive and destructive forms. I want to be, like, so freaking charismatic, charismatic, um, that I could talk as he knows into <laughs> exactly you know where i'm going with it um like i want to be able to to talk my way like i need all the fellowship so yeah i think i'm gonna be like the imperial world yeah i think i'm gonna go the imperial world so Imperial World is one of a million planets united by the belief in the immortal god emperor. Hailing from hyper-technological societies, grimly feudal populations, the inhabitants of countless worlds offer fealty and devotion to the master of humanity and the Imperial Creed and espoused by his servants. The designation Imperial World encompasses a vast array of wholly dissimilar worlds that are no less part of the Imperium. So that will do, yeah? Um, like that, I want... To be like the most chattiest person ever. Because you know, why not? Um I wanna be a noble because you know I need to, I, I I want all that fellowship. So look at that. I mean that's just the badass. No no I don't. No no I don't. That one's good. No I don't I don't. I don't I don't. I mean that's cool. 
and usually I'm all for going for the magic route, but you know, I prefer the noble. Look, look, we have we have some beasts. So yeah, um, <laughs> strong presence and persuasiveness stop the feudal war between neighboring cities. Uh, illusionary, illustrious, sorry, you were named planetary governor and survived, having made useful connections on both sides of the war. Uh, you have a rival. You had a rival noble house's reputation destroyed, and his members exiled from the sector. Ooh. So we. I th I'm guessing that's like. Yeah, that's manipulation. Coercion's manipulation. Commerce is business. Okay. And persuasion is uh. Yeah, manipulating people for yeah, so Ooh, I don't know. Will we be very businessy? Ah, oh, I think we'll go Apex or Brilliance. Or brilliance. Um Grim. Mysterious tome that was discovered in your family library exactly terrible toil on your mind. Okay. So something happened with the war? You're a you're one of those. You're a beastard. An illegitimate member of a family that merely turned its back on you. It means we don't know much about the Imperium. I don't I don't want that. I wanna be like smart. Uh, you were kidnapped for ransom and your captors treated you up until the moment you were released. So I can't lie. Hmm. Hmm. Well do you know what? I don't need to know about the warp, okay? I don't need to know about the warp. Um So my archetype. I can either be an assassin or a vanguard or an arch militant. Vanguard, master technician, grand strategist, operative, assassin, bounty hunter, grand strategist, or soldier. Oh, wait, there is. Soldiers are master of ranged weapons, quickly able to assume an adventure. Advant advantageous. So I can read a uh, position from where they stand, ready to rain fire on their enemy. While well trained in a highly diverse range of arms, a soldier is particularly proficient at blasting their targets with burst fire and area weapons. I mean, that would be good. Operative uses intelligence and perception to find and exploit weaknesses. I mean, that's great and all, but... Hmm... I think an officer might be. An officer uses their willpower and fellowship to improve the combat capabilities of the allies, turning them into greater threats in the battlefield. I think that might be it. I think definitely. Bring it down. The officer immediately grants an ally extra. Yeah, I think I think we'll do that. I don't think I want to be a warrior. Yeah, boasting exceptional melee. So yeah. Okay, we'll do that. We're gonna be an officer. Okay, so I just put extra. Put it into So we can put some willpower. Uh, perception. I'm guessing it kind of works similar to D&D, &D, right? Right? Weapon skill. Weapon skill. Flex the character's confidence in all forms of close combat. Increases their parry, reduces enemy parry chance against melee attacks. Okay, don't really mind that one. Reflects the character's accuracy with all forms of ranged weapons. We definitely need to be a bit, you know. Strength. Physically strong characters. Effects of damage a character inflicts with melee and allows them to lift heavier objects. Uh, toughness. Uh, so yeah, want to be a bit. Characters quickness, reflexes, and poise. I wonder if poise is. I don't know. But yeah, let's put that last bit in there and say that's it. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, 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 what are we going to call our, our frigate? The Unforgiven. Ah, uh, Daring Destiny. 
I don't know. Um, Void Destroyer. I like that. The Void Destroyer. Or I could have called it something really goofy like the Candy Cane Mountain. <laughs> but no, I want to go cool. I want to be cool. Um, Rogue Trader. Um, I have a name. I have a name. Titania. Okay. Von Shire. Tanya Von Shire. And she looks freaking awesome. She's gonna be great. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? We're ready. This is gonna be great. I am aware that it is a lot of talking, so uh, I will be having drinks frequently for this game to keep the old voice box going. Um. As for now. Doing it. Okay, press. I won't make where's the any key jokes. I'll try not to. Excellent place for contemplation. One has the best view of the cathedral from here. Mesmerizing, wouldn't you say? An impeccable manifestation of the God Emperor sublimity. Hmm, do you have a particular reason for disturbing me? My apologies. I do not seek you out to pester you with unwanted attention <laughs> allow me to introduce myself Kunrad Voitvir master of whispers in the employ of her ladyship rogue trader Theodora von Valencius at your service I haven't had the pleasure of speaking with you in person before okay I, I've got this is such a mouthful but Duchess Titiana Titiana Titania Titiana <laughs> Titania von Shire, Eos Venrida de Val of Calixes, but you may call me Your Grace. My deepest respects to you, Your Grace. Powerful. A noble of the Imperium. <laughs> it's been a long time since Providence last brought such eminent guests aboard this vessel. I think he's being a bit of a dick. I will be frank with you. You may forget your past titles, no matter who gave them to you, or what their origins are. From the moment you and the other candidate were brought aboard this void ship, your fate changed. You now serve Lord Captain Theodora von Valencius, and carry the burden of an heir of this house. Henceforth, you share your dynastic name with her ladyship. Bear it with honor. I assume you had some goal in mind when you decided to seek me out. Let's not address it. But of course, I have come to this invite you to a meeting so with Lady Theodora. I imagine you have many questions for your patroness, and I'm sure she has just as many questions for you. It is regrettable that you haven't yet had an opportunity to speak. It has been an arduous voyage thus far. Oh, it so has. You know, get the, the fan and stop whipping it. The Lord's Captain and Master Edelthrad von Valencius are conversing on the observation platform. Let us join them there. Let us. Ah, uh, Rook Trader Theodora von Valencius desires to personally meet with the person recently brought aboard her flagship. Okay. 
Got it. Got it. I'm not completely unsure how to play this game. If Is there money to be made? Okay. If it's similar to like Baldur's Gate or anything like that. In terms of controls, I don't I I'm very much aware that in terms of fighting, it is very different. I always keep my options open. One of the Fon Valencia's trophy rooms. Perhaps you would like to take a look around after your audience with the Lord Captain. Oh, what's happening? Servitors are going now. Oh, the servitors are going crazy. is already calculated. Yeah. Okay, battles. Ooh. You've been ambushed, so I don't like a movement. Start the battle. I don't get a movement here? Okay. I suppose if I'm ambushed, of course I don't get a movement. in a game of turn base and take place on a grid on their turn a character can move attack and use abilities select a cell okay movement points determine how far a character can move on their turn okay at the beginning of each turn movement points are restored to their maximum value that's good to know note that once a character starts moving this action can no longer be cancelled right okay uh Okay, I go up here. To make attacks and use abilities in combat, a character must spend action points or AP. Their total is displayed on a panel at the bottom of the screen. Every attack or ability has a certain AP cost associated with it. The number of squares next to the icons of attack actions and other abilities indicate their AP cost. At the start of each character's turn, their AP are restored to their maximum value. Uh, first click. Okay, I think I think I should be able to figure it out. Uh, so that's Piao Piao. We want to Piao Piao. Oh, if not um, me. Yeah, we we Piao Piao. When you're ready to end your turn, press space or click end turn button on the right corner. Where's the tickets? That. Yeah. Well, I'll just click space. I think I'm done. All of these. You serve me. Nobles assign one ally who will become their servant. Okay. Voice of command. An officer forces an ally to fully push themselves, increasing their characteristics by plus 15 from one round. Ooh. Pew. Oh, dude, you're so dead. Ah! Yep, hold it. Do you not, like, do the fighting thing? No? He doesn't do the fighting thing. Huh. One? Really? Oh dear. No, don't look at me! Oh, he didn't look at me. <sighs> Character with melee weapons can make an attack of opportunity if an opponent in... Alright, so yeah, that's similar. Okay. But, um... Can I not shoot him? Like, since we're so... I'll make it happen. Oh, wait, how did I miss? Like, I, the dude is in... Equipped your character with decent weapon to place them on a vantage point. Okay. Are you telling me I'm gonna have to, like, move? Oh, no, he's gonna move. He's not gonna attack me. Can we let him die? I don't like that shit to die. 
Oh, he is dodgy. Characters with melee weapons block adjacent enemies' ability to perform attacks with ranged weapons. Pistols, shotguns are an exception to this rule. Oh, they can be. Oh, I'm, I mustn't have a pistol gun? Alright. On it. I missed. I fuck. What suspiciously poor timing for such an accident. Servitors malfunction on the officer's deck at exactly the same moment when the rogue trader and her heirs are gathered here. I have blocked all passages between the upper and lower sectors of the residential decks. If this is a deliberate attack, it should stop the culprits from... Advancing their plan. There's a cleanup crew. Where were you like two minutes ago? I'm afraid I must remain here. For Lady Theodora's safety, I have to oversee the execution of these orders personally. I hope you will have no difficulty reaching the observation platform on your own. It is just at the end of this corridor. I can find the way. Any loot? Oh, no loot. Massive golden am 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 amalgam? Interspersed, I have it now. With sparkling parts. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. Glory to the om Omnisile, giver of knowledge. Let us not dawdle. That is simply irrational, Lady Theodora. Assimilation into the trade structure would be political and economic suicide. Practically an admission of heresy. Okay. Then suggest an alternative that will satisfy me. I have described the situation. No worse than my seneschal could have done. Make a decision. What will you do with Ion-6, Edelthrad? While you are considering your answer, Edelthrad, I wish to speak with someone else. Perhaps I shall hear something more interesting than incoherent mumbling. Approach. What is this? Is this someone from your retinue, Theodora? Do you permit your people to interrupt your conversations yeah, really in such a fashion? I was quiet. I didn't interrupt anyone. I give that permission to those with something of substance to say. Let us see if it was worth it. This is the second candidate for the title of my successor. Step forward. I shall. Consider this hypothetical situation. Ion 6. A new world on the fringes of the Coronis Expanse. High seismic activity. Regular magma eruptions, metamorphic rock deposits, prospects for large-scale mining. The world is populated by natives who worship some heretical underworld spirits that protect those who offer them sacrifices. Flights of fancy, you might say. But attempts to install ore extractors have failed for the second time. The mining crew sent to the planet's surface simply vanished overnight. My question to you is, what would you do with this poisoned treasure? Hmm. Two main options up here is Lore uh, with Xeno succeed and then Lore what succeeded.
I'm gonna go warp. There are ways to confirm whether what is happening on Ion 6 is witchcraft or not. It might cost several cycles to do so, but it will give us the answer. Thorough, but presumptuous. It took me a great deal to find one Psyker who could serve me well for many years. Yet you speak of several. Okay, I thought Psykers were like... <laughs> Sanctioned Psykers are rare and valuable instruments of the Golden Throne. Or do you suggest that we use heretics? Who are an offense to the god emperor's light it would be rather careless of you to utter such profanity in the presence <laughs> of his faithful servants Do i find your tone most disagreeable edelfrad you will kindly alter the manner in which you address me or else you will have you will live to regret the consequences well, I find your company disagreeable, and yet I'm forced <laughs> to endure such. Edelthrad, I believe I gave you an assignment on this ship. Explain to me then why my senior congregator is still dawdling about the officer's deck, instead of proceeding to the middle decks to commence the inspection of the compartments in his purview. Mm -hmm. I beg your forgiveness, Lady Theodora. Your presence has such a profound effect on me that I well forgot the time. Oh, he is a kiss ass. Kiss ass. So, why are you here? Was it not you who sent for me? You have seeded the opening that was offered to you in a woeful display of meekness. Admittedly, this tendency is equally strong in all who toil in the Emperor's service. Immutable hierarchy, absolute obedience, lick spittlery, compulsion to please. I value none of these things. From the moment my envoys came for you, the terms of your existence changed. My name is Theodora von Valencius Massimo of Scarus. I am a rogue trader in the service of the God Emperor of Humanity. And my rights and freedoms are vindicated by a most sacred relic. The Warrant of Trade, kept aboard this very vessel. Mine is the honor to venture into the darkness beyond the Imperium and carry humanity's light where powers wicked and heretical reign and bow death and ruin to us all. It is my decision alone to determine the fate of whatever I find past the bounds of the explored void. Every world I discover, along with all there is to find thereon, resources, people, riches, and mysteries, is mine by right. I command millions of lives, rule over numerous planets, and possess fortunes that no planetary governor or commander could dream of amassing. And you are one of those with Fon Valancius blood in their veins and a rightful claim to this inheritance when the hour comes. I'm ready to take on the sacred purpose. Oh, yes. You would be, wouldn't you? The question is, am I ready to choose you over the rest? You came aboard hours before the warp jump, and have not yet distinguished yourself in any way. As things currently stand, I have doubts that you are suitable for the role of rogue trader. Well, that's not a good start, really, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Blood right alone is not enough to earn the high honor of becoming the bearer of a warrant of trade. Nonetheless, your abilities and talents may yet prove useful. If not for the role of Lord Captain, then for that of their closest ally. <sighs> Alas, even those responsibilities can at times be too challenging for those who share your blood. Kunrad Voitvir served me for many years before he made his mistake. Oh, did I hear correctly? The Master of Whispers is related to you? Right, right. 
His kinship to me is most distant, as is yours. Nonetheless, he does bear the name Von Valancius, even if he avoids using it publicly and, as such, strictly speaking, can be considered my heir. That door, however, is closed to him. Voigtvier's performance in his current role is satisfactory. Or it used to be, at least. Oh, well, thank you for clarifying. May I ask my questions, though? I have some time before the Navigator gives the signal to initiate the Void Ship's translation out of the warp and my presence is required on the bridge. When an incident took place on the officer's deck, some servitors went berserk and attacked the crew. Is that so? Perhaps the Technomaths were careless during maintenance. Or it could be the warp playing tricks on us in spite of the Gellerfield. Or perhaps there is something to all the stories about the ship being possessed after all. <laughs> Lady Theodora, for the God Emperor's sake, surely you do not intend to start repeating idle rumors spread about by uneducated riffraff. Enough, Abelard. Such hearsay amuses me. Idira eagerly retells me everything she learns from the whispers of her unseen advisors. This ship is thousands of years old. It has enough hidden nooks, malfunctioning cogitators, and unused compartments to make ignorant folks speak of specters dwelling inside the bulkheads and plotting against those who yet live. Okay, um... What are my, what are my current responsibilities then? Observe, learn, absorb. It will take time for you to find your bearings aboard this vessel and in your new position. Eventually, I will find a post that suits you as I did for Edelthrad. Until that time comes, consider yourself my aid. Where is your ship headed? The Rykad system, the domain of rogue trader Winterscale, one of my peers and rivals. Besides me, two other rogue traders exist in the Coronis Expanse, and each of them possesses resources comparable to mine. Perhaps you will one day assist House von Valancius in surpassing both of them in affluence and splendor. Oh, I hope so. I set the course for Rykad on the demand... ...for a very specific reason. Perhaps I shall yet apprise you of the purpose for this voyage. But now is not the time. Gracious Lord Captain, surely there are ways I can prove myself worthy of heir. You can start by not asking questions of this sort. I have no need for sycophants. I will draw my conclusions when an opportunity to prove yourself arises. As for when you will be granted that opportunity, only the God Emperor knows. Navigator? Translation? What are these things that you speak of? Sometimes I forget that people without direct access to a ship's bridge may not know the first thing about how a void ship travels between the stars. Vessels such as this one are capable of leaving real space and traversing into the warp, an otherworldly dimension of cruel and unthinkable forces. By entering it under the protection of the Geller Field, we shorten the route to our destination crossing distances that would require hundreds of years in a matter of weeks instead. Sometimes in days or even hours. That is how humanity spread across the galaxy. That is how we were able to build the Imperium, which spans millions of stars. I have no more questions. In that case, I shall head to... Disturbances reported on the adjacent decks. Seneschal, if the need arises, protect the new blood. It is possible that the chance to prove your worth may present itself sooner than you may have anticipated. Ooh. 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 It's, it's go time. I got very excited about some heretics. To arms! He'll make a suitable Two sacrifice! Um. So I can't do any movement yet. I'd 
Lord. I took care oh, of this one. Follow my lead. For the glory of the Imperium. I want one he's packing. Death to the weak. One fewer target. Death to non-believers. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Out of my way! Haha, <laughs> you missed. Use cover to avoid enemy attacks. Got it. I'm ready for whatever comes. And then can I attack him? Can we go pure pills? Get him. Ah! Oh, yes! Did you see that? Lady person? Crush the feeble! Go hand in hand. No mercy for heretics. I want one of those. <laughs> Heritage has received temporary positive effect from my ally, such as an officer. Okay. Um. It's as good as done. Another enemy down. <laughs> Did you see that? See that? Chaos guides me. So my steam flow. achievements are a bit bad. <laughs> Death to the weak. Um, just so you know, my Steam achievements are a bit bugged. I don't know what's going on with them. They keep popping up, telling me that I've got achievements. Uh, reduced to I dust. Didn't have. So, uh, it's a bit weird. Die. Ooh, I want that. God, that was... Okay. You guys were right. Mort, take a team with you and clear a path to the transport line. Do not let a single horse up survive. Didn't bat an eye when that scum burst onto the deck, huh? Not bad. I have seen many an officer who panicked at the sight of combat on the upper decks. The false sense of security offered by their position makes them that much more vulnerable to the harsh realities of warp travel. Um... What are your orders? Mort has gone on ahead to clear a path for us. If you want to make yourself useful, go after him and see if the arch militant requires aid. And be quick about it. Okay. Gonna be quick about can can is there loot? Yeah. Okay. Gotta be quick about it. So. Wait, go this way. Oh, this is so cool! I'm gonna fight it! <laughs> Keep your wits about you. Thank Providence you are alive and well. Always on time, eh, Coonrad? The moment we finish chasing the riffraff around the deck, you show up. Always just after the fighting's done. You can set your chrono by it. Mort, hold yourself together. What, did the Lord Captain send you to chivy us along? We're all done here. I'll report right away. of whispers what is happening on my ship the vox net is silent the vox master is not responding armed assailants have stormed the officer's deck and my arch militant just destroyed several more heretics on the way here is this a severe case of warp madness have some of my crew lost their minds and forgotten who they are and whom they serve Completely report 
I have not yet received word from the Engineerium regarding any Geller field failures, but communications were already unstable half an hour ago, and now they have ceased altogether. Whatever the cause may be, the consequences are spreading fast. I am receiving scattered reports from the middle decks, and the only Vox casts from the lower bays are one-way heretical gibberish. That the madmen have already reached the officer's deck suggests that this outrage was planned in advance. Perhaps this is an organized mutiny. Uh, well, we must provide immediate assistance to those still on the middle deck. Perhaps then we might stop this way from spreading. First, we have to confirm that the bridge and the navigator's sanctum are secure. And I have the means to do both things at once. Edelthrad, where is he? I must know if he is unharmed. A psyker aboard a ship that is potentially being assailed by the warp could pose a greater threat to himself and others than a whole army of madmen with improvised weapons. I tried to locate him, but the last thing known about his movements is that he arrived on Transitional Deck 18. Blast it! Master of Whispers, find Edelthrad immediately. Seneschal, locate Tlas and the Sister of Battle. Both are to remain at my side. Arch Militant, with me. I must go to my study. And it appears we might encounter heretics along the way. If I may, Lord Captain. Transitional Deck 18 is at the heart of the disturbance. And if our goal is to bring Edelthrad back, I could use some support. After all, I'm not as adept at directly confronting enemies of the House as the esteemed Arch Militant. And taking into consideration Edelthrad's psycho powers. Who are you? Want me to come with you? Then it's settled. Find Edelthrad and bring him here. In whatever state you find him. This elevator leads to restricted compartments such as my personal chambers and the bridge. Do not let me down. I require you both. Do you understand? Uh, I shall do everything in my power. <sighs> Not everything in your power. You will do as I say. I'll have your heads if you fail. Is oh, damn, she does not like me. Then move out. Mort. Tom. Oh, she does not like me. <laughs> Are you ready to head to 18? It is a long walk, and you do not even have proper gear. You had better not fail me. The Lord Captain made it clear that relying on you is fraught with risk. I see you have quickly earned Lady Theodora's trust. If she is already sharing her closely guarded secrets with you. But that is no longer relevant. With a pop at a sharp crackle, something hits you in the abdomen and you are consumed by unbearable gut-wrenching pain. I knew it. I... I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. He 